everybody thinks Alex is this amazing striker. Um, and at the end of the day, it, Jamal is levels above Alex Perlman. This fight needed to happen to show the world that Jamal Hill is the best striker in the UFC. You know, everybody's going to see us Saturday night, and it's, it's, there's going to be no question after that. Jamal Hill found out the hard way why Alex Pereira's nickname roughly translates into Hands of Stone. Hill was confident coming into this fight, having received advice from Adesanya and beaten up Alex Pereira's mentor and head coach, Glover Teixeira. If we getting it in, when you step in there with me, ain't nothing to talk about, ain't nothing to say, it's all right here and I'm on your ass. He was ready to prove himself as the best striker in the light heavyweight division. The champ is here! The fight starts and Pereira is immediately throwing leg kicks, targeting Jamal's right leg. Jamal starts the fight taking a more cautious approach, different from his usual heavy pressure style, allowing Pereira's space to close the distance and become the pressure fighter. In this fight, Jamal Hill is in the southpaw stance, with his right leg and right arm forwards. This brings his arm and leg close to Pereira. The outside foot position when fighting against an opposite stance opponent is of utmost importance. Notice how Pereira doesn't circle with Jamal Hill, he moves laterally with him. When Hill moves to the right, Pereira will do the same. This is in order to keep his foot on the outside of Jamal's to give himself the better angle to land strikes. Jamal's lead hand is also constantly fighting for ground with Pereira's lead hand. Pereira knows that if he can win this battle for the hand and for dominant foot position, his left hook is there on Hill and it's only a matter of time before he does win those battles. Jamal inches his way forward slowly and suddenly throws a leg kick. Alex moves away from the strike unfazed. Throughout the fight, Alex sees all of Hill's strikes coming and starts to completely disregard them, blocking them, moving away from them, or simply ignoring them. Hill's output seems to dwindle into merely an afterthought for Pereira. He pressures forwards with leg kicks and a minute into the fight throws his first straight left jab into Hill's body. This body jab Pereira throws and lands on Hill throughout the fight again and again. This is the same jab he used to condition Sean Strickland, making him habitually down block Alex's left hand, giving him an opening for his left hook to land. Alex hand fights with Hill before throwing a jab to the body. Notice the tempo of Alex's actions. Slow, slow, fast. He's conditioning Hill not only on the location of his strikes, but also the rhythm of his movements. Hill attacks, throwing a combination and surging forwards. Alex moves backwards, unfazed and calmly throws a jab to the body, followed by a leg kick, and Hill suddenly finds himself on the back foot again. Hill knows being pressed backwards is not where he wants to be, and he throws strike after strike to try to get Pereira off of him. Left straights, right hooks, leg kicks, but Pereira sees the holes in Jamal Hill's defense, and he is unrelenting in his pressure, casually dealing with each strike, constantly pushing on Hill's position. Pereira hand fights, 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 fires. Finally, having created the opening for his devastating left hook to land, let's look at how he set up the shot. Alex steps on Hill's lead foot, and catching Hill with his body completely angled to the wrong side, grabs Hill's lead right hand, the only hand that was defending him from Alex's left hook. He pulls it down out of the way, and throws his hook in the same fluid motion. Hill gets caught with his hand down, while throwing a left straight that Alex slips to the outside of. From there, a few shots of ground and pound and the fight is over. Another signature left hook knock out for Alex Pereira. Alex created a perfect angle with his footwork, confused Hill with his tempo, and built a hole in Hill's defense with his hand fighting, all while timing Jamal's counter shot and slipping perfectly to the outside of it. That is the beauty of Alex Pereira's left hook. Ultimately, Jamal Hill didn't have the offensive tools to make Pereira fear his striking, nor enough defensive capabilities to make it out of even the first round. So when his coach said, Jamal is levels above Alex Pereira. This he may be right, but in the end, Hill just has way too many holes. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. I never talk to any advertisers, and I need your help to make this channel grow. I appreciate everyone for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the fights, and have a great rest of your day.